What's up guys, Zach Man with another video update. It is January 11, 2019. Uh, so right now if we're looking at uh, Tron uh, TRX, we can kind of see we're a little bit red uh, right now. Um, obviously we're kind of down, but uh, we're kind of going to be, like I said, it's the weekend. So here obviously it's going to be bouncing around. It's going to probably level off up there. You know, it might get a little couple of spikes before the, the summit. And just depending on what's all said and what's done there, we'll... Find out more hopefully next week. We'll have more information. I know Justin's son isn't too much on uh, keeping secrets. He pretty much uh, lets everybody know in advance uh, about what's going to go on. So I know the big talk right now is uh, what's going to happen with uh, the BitTorrent, the BTT uh, token swap. Um, there hasn't really been a release date yet on that. Um, or uh, which uh, uh, exchanges are doing the, the swap out. So I know I use Binance. Is kind of my, what I have everything on, so what I use for uh, the cryptocurrency. Um, but uh, um, I know there's been some rumors, but I, I, I don't want to tell you that that's what's going to happen. I'd rather have the facts. I want to hear it from the actual uh, Tron representative of that's actually what's happening, or Binance representative. Um, so I'm not going to BS you on, you know, it, on rumors. Um, just like uh, recently there was a thing about uh, XRP and Tron combining or, you know, coming together and going to join or whatever, which, again, if it's not going to be on uh, a legit uh, news from uh, Tron Foundation or from the uh, XRP Foundation, well, then it's pointless to report that. So I'm not going to feed you a bunch of BS or what if, you know, stuff. although that would be awesome. I'm not going to lie. That would probably, you know, increase the value pretty much if XRP and Tron were to... Uh, join forces, but that's just not going to happen. That's just the you know XRP is part of the banking plan. Or their plan is to do something with banking, and then uh, obviously uh, Tron is you know entertainment. So two separate different things, uh, goals and stuff like that. But um, anyway, so, so like I said, Tron, you know, it's uh, it's going to kind of be up and down here um, pretty much until the trumpet or the no trumpet until the summit is my guess. Uh, as far as that goes, it'll be. Uh, kind of stagnant a little bit uh leveling off here um and then just depending on like i said what's said and what uh what all the focus is on trying hopefully we get more information like i said next week and we'll kind of go from there but uh you know it's either going to go up or down from here um i believe it's a little bit of an bull market uh, just because like i said look at all this green right here i mean even when uh bitcoin took a big dump uh yesterday uh, Tron was still in the green, you know, closed in the green. Like I said, it had the you know, candle. It did go up. Obviously, it did go down, but still closed in the, the green. Obviously, it's a little bit down today, but that's kind of given, you know. You, we have one, two, three, four green candles, and, you know, it's one, two, three, four, we have five green, one red, one, two, three, four. So it's uh, it's give and take. And like I said, the closer you get to a big uh, event like the summer that the, that's going to be placed, it's going to kind of get uh, level off, you know, for the investors before they, you know, decide to jump on. So... Uh, if you look at Bitcoin uh, right now, uh, obviously it is in the green a little bit. It's still kind of down there. It didn't really go down any further than what it did from yesterday. Um, right now, Tron is at number nine as far as on both of the market caps. Um, so Tron is number nine. Um, like I said, basically there was a little bit of a, a massive sell-off yesterday. But I said Tron pretty much held its own, so uh, which is pretty positive. So it didn't go following Bitcoin. So there was no problem with that so um yeah not really nothing really to port report as far as uh big news or announcements or anything like that uh just kind of got to hold on hopefully uh we'll get some more information next week that i can give out to you guys about what's going to be uh presented at the summit to get uh, a little bit more information on that otherwise yeah i'm just going to kind of leave it up to some q a i guess over the weekend um and then i'll get back to you guys on monday but uh you know what uh what are you guys' thoughts on what's happening so far this week? Obviously, some good things. I know that we just uh, hired one of the ex-SEC uh, Security and Exchange guys, the attorney, I believe. Uh, they uh, brought him on board, so that's pretty positive. He knows a little bit about the laws and stuff like that for uh, regulating and stuff like that. So that's actually really, really positive news that happened this week. Obviously, we were in green. We're 118% uh, positive for the last 30 uh, days, which is a huge, huge increase for Tron as well. So that's some of the good things that happened over the week. Um, but uh, obviously everything comes to a close, and then uh, we'll start again next week. Um, obviously Bitcoin's you know traded twenty four seven, but um, kind of the weekend is a little bit slower. But uh, yeah, so next week we'll see what that brings. Obviously we got the the Tron, like I said, the Tron summit's coming up, and uh, 
hopefully I'll have more information. And uh, other than that, guys, enjoy your weekend. Uh, let me know if you guys have any, what your thoughts are, what's going to happen next week, if you have any intel um, on uh, what's happening. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day and enjoy your weekend.